the Balkan Peninsula. This southeastern part of Europe is home to the Roadope and Rila Mountains, landscapes as dynamic and resilient as the people who live here. At the very southern tip of Croatia, tucked behind a medieval stone wall that spans more than 6,000 feet in length and 82 feet in height, is Dubrovnik. Though the walls of Dubrovnik are a main draw for travelers, it's the city's hidden and magical life that makes this city a special place for its residents. Biologist and university professor Marlena Chukterush is an environmental activist whose mission is to protect the Dubrovnik coastline, one beach at a time. Lena Kromrich, a Zagreb-born artist, has chosen Dubrovnik as her adopted home, a place to raise her two daughters and carve a life that is both creative and professional. Inez Trichkovic, a self-made jazz singer and third-generation Dubrovnik native, returns home after traveling the world to reconnect with her roots. I don't really know the exact moment, I don't remember it, but it's been always a part of me. Far away. My singing started basically, I think, as early as I could uh, speak, because I would always perform for my mom, dad, grandmother, grandfather. And I guess it's a story of uh, many performers that you, you were always kind of in that role, singing, dancing, performing for the family first, and then for friends and family, and then slum, somehow the audience grows bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, but it's, you know, when, you, when I grew up a little bit, uh, my grandmother enrolled me uh, secretly first in the children's choir here in Dubrovnik, and that's how I st slowly started, let's say, my professional career. So, yeah, this is my first home. This is where I grew up. I used to play, do my little theater shows, concerts. <laughs> This was one of the first stages. And, yeah, Baba. And this is my queen, <laughs> my grandma. My grandma, she was the first one to notice the, the talent, uh, the singing talent. And the, she was working in um, kindergartens for many, many years. Uh, so she knew how to recognize these things early on. This is the um, award, uh, it's called Porin, and Porin is uh, the highest Croatian award, uh, music award. It's like a Croatian Grammy, basically, that uh, I got for the best jazz uh, performance of the year. Uh, I won uh, 2014 uh, this award and I gave to my grandma because I said, Grandma, this is for you, because I knew that kind of when she sees the statue in the house, that's going to mean something for her. It's Grandma's award. <laughs> you know, maybe even more for me, because for me it was the moment when I won. It was great, it was amazing, but as an artist you always kind of move on, you know, from these things. But I knew for her it's going to be something, you know, big. My music was for sure influenced by so much beauty. 
you know, and so much elegance and something which is ethereal in a way. I'm proud to belong to such a beautiful uh, little Mediterranean city with so much culture and history, for sure. I am kind of bound to, to this place. I am, um, my first audience was in this city. The first people who supported me were in this city. This is where I started, and um, I never want to forget that. My first impression of Dubrovnik was this is a city from my dreams, you know, it was amazing. <laughs> In the last year or two, somewhere I uh, settled down. My boyfriend, he loved this town. I love my kids who are born here. We create life here. From there, uh, everything is possible if we want it. There are two priorities, painting and children. And for each of them, I want to give 100%. That's where the struggle comes and that's where uh, goes this rush and hurrying to catch everything, you know, in 24 hours. In painting, I enjoy mostly in the process. So the okay. process is something when all the other stuff go out of the room and I remain only with this creation process, which is hard to explain. I plan, I think a lot about it while I'm not working and I have my visions and my ideas, which always during the process turns in something else. I think it was the need uh, to, uh, how do you say in English, uh, the need to express yourself. That was, uh, you know, need to create, need to put out something. It's like in all the other arts, in singing and dancing and things like that. This was my medium. It's really an addiction. When I'm not working, when I'm dealing with the other things that I must do, uh, I feel uh, kind of depressed, you know, something is missing. Something is really missing. And I'm, when I'm working, when I'm working full day, then I'm uh, with energy on 100% and I can do anything. It really gives me power. People of Dubrovnik are very easygoing. Maybe it is because, you know, it is a small town and everybody knows everybody. And uh, for me, it gives me some kind of, um, you know, warm feeling. Like uh, all the town is your home. Probably I was born with that intuition for physics and natural science. Maybe my parents are guilty for that because they spend a lot of time with me and my sister in nature. And then I decide to pursue my PhD work and I choose biology and marine science, especially ecology because uh, during that time I was involved in association for protecting the nature. And then I decided to do something more. So association Green Sea Safari 
that I started with my friends Mara and Alan three years ago. And we are collecting marine waste from uh, isolated beaches around Dubrovnik. Whoever decide to go with us just need to register themselves for that day and we are going to one spot to clean. Excellent. My parents, they showed me that everything is important. Each living thing is important in this world. All that waste is coming from Mediterranean especially from Montenegro and Albania, probably. We want to spread the idea for Green Sea Safari all around Mediterranean. Uh, this season we are going to move a little bit more on the Adriatic Sea. I'm, I'm enjoying it, and that's the whole point. I'm doing it because I'm loving it and I'm enjoying it all the time. Victory! The whole beauty is around Dubrovnik, not only in the old city. And mostly people, tourists who are coming here to Dubrovnik, uh, they just want to see the city walls and what is inside. But they need to see the whole beauty around Dubrovnik area. Whether you're seeking a pilgrimage to monastery or memorials, or a kayak tour of the Adriatic coastline, the Balkan Peninsula offers dynamic opportunities, drenched in cultural creativity and natural beauty. How might you find your own magic here?